It's described as one of the biggest greenfield developments in years. The Hazelton Farm housing project is expected to bring an extra 1,800 residents to the Horndean area. This huge stretch of land behind me notches up more than 60 hectares. The development will include 700 homes, along with a community centre, sports facilities, allotments and children's play areas. The size and location of the site concerns some residents. There are also fears over congestion on the A3M and the B2149. The plans include a host of road changes, but there are claims that bus routes will need a revamp. Public opinion remains divided. Then there is the provision of health care. Yes, the new surgery will be welcomed by all residents of Hornby, but there are questions. Will the surgery be able to cope with the influx of 1,800 extra residents? Uh, because there's only a fixed number of hours in a day that a doctor can work. Then there is the inadequate parking within Horndean itself. A public consultation with hundreds of people achieved over 90% support for the development, but some residents say the site's location was simply the best of a bad bunch. They held a consultation at a time when there were planning developments put in for two of the open spaces, and very much we felt that the local council were pushing, they wanted to save the posher ends of Hornding perhaps, wanted to save their open spaces and they encouraged people to say that this was the, the worst best site I think they said, or words to that effect. So we're very angry that they keep quoting this 92%. Yes, people are accepting it, but not 92%. Supporters say the Hazelton Farm project will bring much needed community facilities to the area. There will be a new school, but there's still debate over how many classes it will accommodate. The scheme will also include affordable housing. The agent says that's a plus point. The proposed development present, represents a sustainable solution to address the housing, recreation and employment needs of Horndean. There have only been 26, 26 objections to application against 44 letters of support, which is unheard of for a development of this scale and a clear reflection of how closely we've worked with the local community to bring forward proposals which not only deliver housing and employment but also provide other tangible benefits for existing local residents. Over 200 houses will spill into neighbouring Rowlands Castle. The parish will receive all council tax from those homes but objectors say no attention has been paid to the impact of the development on Rowlands Castle. Traffic is a major concern. The scale of the development means central government must give formal permission. Um, the council has received a direction from the Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government. The direction means that the council cannot grant permission, planning permission for this application uh, without his authorization. The reason for this is that the Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government is currently considering whether the planning application should be referred to him for, term, for determination. Nine councillors voted for the outline plans, while one councillor objected. More detailed plans with the design and layout will be submitted in the near future. Dale McEwen, Solent News Now.